OK, here are the next pair of consonant sounds we're targeting. Z, as in measure, and sh, as in sheep. So, we have two sounds here. Now, the first sound, z, is not a very, very common sound in English. But it's good to cover it anyway. Z is a voiced sound. So touch your throat again and produce the sound. Z, you can feel the vibration. Notice the shape of the lips. Z, z, the lips are protruding. Okay, Not necessarily rounded, but protruding. Z, z, okay? And you're making you're making the vibration with your voice and you're producing air out of your mouth. The tongue is the tip of the tongue, which means the end of the tongue is slightly up. Okay? This is what's producing the sound. So if you try again, notice where your tongue is, notice the, the shape of your lips as well. Okay, the tip of the tongue should be slightly up. Now, the second sound, shh, shh, is exactly the same, except it's unvoiced. Okay, we've seen this many times before with other sounds. This is the same. So, same shape of the lips, protruding, shh tip of the tongue comes up slightly and you push air out of the mouth but with the second sound shh, it's unvoiced okay and it's just like saying uh, shh be quiet I don't know if you have this expression in your language but in English when we want people to be quiet we say shh it's exactly the same sound Okay, so those are the two sounds. And as I said, the first sound, zh, the voiced sound, is not as common as the second sound, shh. The second sound is much more common. Anyway, nevertheless, let's go to the target sound practice. So look at the words, notice the spelling as always, and repeat each one after me, focusing on the shape of the lips, where the tongue is, and make sure you use your voice for this one. Genre. Unusual. Television. Casual. Asia. Treasure. Decision. Massage. Measure. Okay, that's great. Now, the second sound, remember, is the same, except it's unvoiced. So all the mouth position, the tongue position is exactly the same, except don't use your voice, okay? Shh. Just push the air out of your mouth. Shh. As in sheep. Now let's look at the target sound practice list. Notice the spellings as always. Very often the spelling is SH, but sometimes it's CH, as you can see. So listen and repeat. Ship, show, shoes, finished, washing, machine, wish, English. Champagne. 
Okay, I hope that's made it clearer for you now. The difference between zh and sh. Okay, now the comparison pairs. This time we're not doing minimal pairs. The reason is because, as I mentioned at the start of the lesson, the zh sound is not so common. So it's very difficult to find minimal pairs that match with sh. So in this section, we're not doing minimal pairs, we're doing comparison pairs. So this just means the words are not the same, but similar, okay? But we're still contrasting the different sounds, okay? I'm still going to show you the difference between zh and sh in a word, okay? So the words have similar sounds, but not the same, like minimal pairs. So it's exactly the same process. On the left, we have the zh sounds, and on the right, we have the sh sounds. So repeat each of the pairs after me, and notice the difference between the sounds. Genre. Sherry. Beige. Bash. Casual. Cash. Visual. Fish. Asia. Ash. Television. Tissue. Okay, so as I said, they're not minimal pairs, but both sets of words contain the target sound. So that's what I want you to focus on. Now, let's move on to the last section of this lecture, the target sounds in use. So the first sentence has some examples of zh. So repeat after me. Let's measure this beige television. Okay, sentence two, we're focusing on shh. Remember the unvoiced sound. Michelle wants shampoo, sugar, and champagne. Right, and the last one is a mix of the two sounds. Repeat after me. Sharon needs to measure her feet to buy some casual shoes for the show. Right, so there we have it. Those two sounds are done. Well done. If you don't have those particular sounds in your language, keep practicing, keep making the sounds, focus on the shape of your mouth and produce the sound. What's easy is if you have one of these sounds in your language, for example, sh, then simply just keep the same shape and use your voice to produ produce zh. Okay, this is an easy way to produce some sounds which might not be in your language, but are very similar. So try that and I'll see you in the next video.